April 28th, 2013. I've been laughing for a few minutes now, I'm so excited! I had to catch my breath just to write this! I found my cyberbully already! My hacker friends rose to the occasion when I told them that this guy was making fun of 4chan, saying that they're hypocritical about being against Scientology and pedophilia. Well, I agree with this made-up statement, especially since they love Samson the Scientologist. Anyway, I made up some more crap that the guy was saying to get them pissed, and of course, 4chan needs a yearly supply of tampons for their 365-day menstrual cycle, so they tracked his ass down. This guy's name is Seth Riley, and he lives in Texas. I'm in LA, so I will have no trouble getting over there. I'll need to get the cats adopted first. I've been posting adoption ads anywhere I can. 4chan members asked what I was going to do with him now that I found him. I simply said I was going to put him in his place. I was widely supported by many. They got his IP address, tracked down where his internet connection was coming from, and found his exact location in a city called Fort Worth. I'm gonna take my diary with me as I travel, of course. For now, I'm posting threatening messages on websites he goes on, even Facebook. Ah, <sighs> yes, I had to make a Facebook. I'm going under the name Anonymous. I've even been sending him scary text messages from a prepaid phone. And even if he changes his number, we can still find him! <laughs> Seth is trying to fight back, but I can sense fear in him. The messages I posted are as follows. You're going to pay. Your death approaches. Don't bother running. I know where you are. I will always find you. I know exactly who you are, Seth. You will die. Say goodbye. There's more, but you get the point. I went back into the chat room today and was talking to Dancing Queen Forever again, and Seth was nowhere to be seen. It was just another normal day. I found out that this girl is close to me. Maybe we should meet? I don't know, I can't seem to keep friends for very long. It's not that they don't like me, oh no, I'm very likable. It's that <laughs> I just can't help killing them. I know it's bad to kill friends, but hey, better killed by a friend than some psycho, right? <laughs> I'm going to go to Starbucks to get a coffee. I feel like I need one after all the work I've been doing with Seth. I can also bring a flyer to post on their bulletin board for adopting the cats. The more I advertise, the better chance I'll get. But I need them to go fast if I want to go visit Seth. Of course, I'll still triple check they're going to a good home. But how am I going to approach Seth? Oh, I can get really pretty and ask if I can use his phone to call a cab. I'll put my hair in a ponytail. Guys just can't seem to look away from me when my hair's in a ponytail. Oh, I'm just so excited to meet him. I'm going to take my camera. I still have a vintage Polaroid, can you believe it? This way no Snoopy film developer will see my work. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't handle it. Maybe I'll go dancing tonight. Yeah! Love, love, love.